Hi guys, JP Cormier back again with the sixth installment of the Boucher Diaries, as we're, I guess we're going to call them, I don't know. But uh, if you've watched all these videos so far, you're, it's a, uh, I'm doing a sort of a, uh, travelogue through my experience with Boucher guitars out of, uh, Bertier Sermer Quebec. He builds guitars for all people all over the world, including folks like Neil Young, uh, Bruce Coburn, uh, there's a lot of people playing this stuff now, especially a lot of the bluegrass players in the United States are really starting to come on board with Boucher these days. And I've got uh, uh, eight of them, and I've I've I, I've really not been able to stop buying them, unfortunately. And uh, <laughs> so this is the sixth guitar in the series, and I thought we left off in the last one with my maple jumbo called Enola Gay. And uh, so after that. You know, about a year later. Uh, now, I've, over the past 20 years, I've forged a pretty good friendship with a singer-songwriter from here in Canada that you guys might know. His name is Gordon Lightfoot. And back in about 2004 or five, I put a record out called The Long River, uh, which had was a tribute to him. I did 18 of his songs and one song that I wrote for him called The Poet. And it was incredibly well received, got a lot of awards and sold a lot of copies. And uh, Lightfoot was very gracious with me about putting out a, a project of his music because he, he really hasn't ever allowed anybody to do that. The only person that's ever put out a complete collection of Lightfoot music is Rice, Tony Rice. But Tony's was actually a compilation. It wasn't a new recording. And Lightfoot is well known for not issuing licenses for tributes. He, he doesn't like them. He's very humble. He, he, he doesn't want people to do that. He wants them to write their own music, etc. You know, like, he's a real down-to-earth guy. A lovely man. Who's actually on tour right now. He was just here in my, in, uh, right near the city, right near Halifax here. Uh, for the last two nights. He's 81 years old, still out on the road. So, in that very hall over in Halifax, the, the Rebecca Cohen Auditorium at Dal Dalhousie University. Uh, last year, I think it was, would have been. Uh, I was asked by Symphony Nova Scotia, this is a full-sized Philharmonic, you know, if I would do a complete show of Lightfoot music with them. So I jumped at the opportunity. I called Gordy and I said, listen, they want me to do this. And he was over the moon. He said, no one's ever done a complete show of my music with full orchestra. I, said, I can't wait to hear this. And uh, I decided to go f pull out all the stops and not only use the six string, but to also, uh, you know, authentically use a 12 string guitar because Lightfoot did a lot of his music on 12, uh, 12 string, an old Gibson uh, that he still has. And he wrote some of those great songs like Sundown and Carefree Highway and like all in the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald were all written on that old Gibson 12 string. And uh, so I had no 12, I have a 12 string. I have a I actually have a TAC, a TAC Mini 12 string that I had built for me 20 years ago uh, when they were building sort of like the Nashville series guitars. And it's a great guitar. It's a rosewood guitar. Got a good, you know, that TAC pickup in it, which sounds, you know, as good as it could in those days. And I used it on records and used it here in the studio. But I didn't have a real honest to goodness 12 string that I felt, you know, worthy of playing Lightfoot's music on. So. Robin found out about this concert and found out about, like, it's a big deal. Like, I, I, he was like, you're playing in a whole night. And then it sold out. So we had to do two nights. So we had to do, and then it, that sold out, and we did three nights. So we did three nights at the Cohen, sold out, thousand seat theater with me, with the symphony, playing all Lightfoot stuff. It was, it was, it was the most fun I ever had in my whole life. But I didn't have a 12 string guitar before this started. So, Robin calls me. He says, do you need a 12 string for this gig? And I said, yes. What do you have? He said, I will send something out to you. So he sent this and he let me keep it. I bought it after the show. Uh, this is the Studio Goose uh, SG-12 mahogany, back and sides, down in maple. And it's one of the best sounding 12 string guitars I've ever heard in my life ever and also one of the easiest guitars to play i've ever heard 
or for a 12 string. And uh, yeah, so instead of doing some Lightfoot on it, seeing as I'm directing this a lot of guitar pickers and people on the Bluegrass Guitar Group, and I know just guitar lovers in general, I decided to play a Doc Watson tune that Doc played on the 12 that I first heard him play on an album called The Essential Doc Watson. And uh, I've been playing this tune probably since I was 11 years old. It was one of the very first things I learned of Doc's and uh, taught me all the finer points of things like cross picking. And uh, so I'm gonna play a little bit of the Beaumont Rag for you on this thing, give you an idea of how well Robin builds a 12 string. the Beaumont rag on the Boucher Studio Goose 12 string mahogany OM size body. Robin also builds a jumbo 12 which is ridiculous. Imagine the guitar in my last video uh, as a 12 string. <laughs> it would, it's really scary. But anyhow... <laughs> It's so incredibly even and beautiful, and the neck is just like butter. The action's like butter. It's, it's amazing. So, anyhow, this is uh, the finest 12-string I've ever played, and uh, we're, we're only two two guitars left now. And uh, I want to thank Robin for building this for me for that purpose to tribute Mr. Lightfoot. And uh, it did a tremendous job uh, live. Uh, it does have a Fishman pickup pick in it, but I'm not going to keep that in there. I used it for the show, but I found it a little bit unbalanced. Uh, like, I, I, that's one of the reasons I don't use under tr uh, transducers anymore, because the volume of each string is often not equal, and that drives me totally crazy. I can't handle it. I have to. So I use sensor pickups like the K and K, K and K almost exclusively. I think now and just about everything I own uh, so yeah there's your 12 string in case you ever in case you ever want one or know anybody who wants one this is the 12 string to buy <laughs> and uh, of course I named this guitar Lightfoot uh, because it was built for that and I love Gordy he's a great guy and a tremendous what a tremendous mark he's left on the world with the songs he wrote that have transcended all genres of music too. So I just, this guitar is called Lightfoot, a very aptly named uh, 12 string masterpiece by Robin Boucher. So anyhow, thank you. And if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to this channel and, and shoot me a like and and just keep on picking, man. It's, it's the best choice you can make 
when in doubt, pick the guitar because guitar players have more fun.